Hi, in this video discussion you will learn mixing unit operation. In the second part, you learn the main equipments which are required for the mixing of high viscosity liquids, its construction, working principles. These are the main points are covered. High viscosity food materials. Examples in which mixing of high viscosity. The bakery dough which is used for in the bread, then biscuit etc. Then some of the fruits and vegetable products like the sausage, jam, syrup, concentrate paste like material. Some of the examples of uh, like the coca butter, then margarine, animal fat, peanuts, butters, then chewing gum. These are the some of the examples in which mixing must require to proper achieve by the combination of more than two principal forces in which main forces by the compression, cutting, stitching, folding and the shearing. These forces must require to properly use and to achieve the proper mixing of high viscosity liquid food product. The main point should be required to consider for the mixing of high viscosity liquid food materials that is the during the mixing action there should be the no flow pattern is naturally produced. This must be required to pro produce by the combination of selection of the proper mixing element and the proper speed of the rotation and the power by the combination of mixing element which is must require to cover the maximum area of the mixing vessel and to achieve the proper mixing of high viscosity uh, food materials. What are the equipments which are available for mixing of high viscosity food product? In first category that is the stand mixer, the rotary motion, planetary motion and the spiral mixer th three types. Second dough kneader in which mixing element that is the Z blade, sigma cutter etc. And the last category that is the other mixer in which screw mixer, roller, colloidal mill. These are the main four, three categories in which the initial raw material, its physical properties as per we can select the proper mixing equipment to achieve the proper mixing of the final product. First equipment that is the rotary motion mixer. In the rotary motion mixer, that is the mixing element, mostly mixing elements are the paddle hesitators. You can see the paddle hesitator or the hook type hesitator. In this mixing element, these are the mixing element. This is the paddle hesitator, this is the hook type. This is also hook type hesitator. In which mixing element, this element is rotate their own axis at the fixed position. Rotary motion mixer in which the mixing element may be single acting, dual acting and multiple acting system. In the single acting mixing element which is the single mixing element you can see the single mixing element dual acting in which the two mixing elements which are the rotated in opposite directions multiple system you can see the example of flat multiple paddles agitator in which the mixing speed may be adjustable as per our requirement there should be the provision provided with the gear system and the switch are the provided the mixing action is low quality as compared to other type of the mixing equipments in which the required more times and uh, more efforts to achieve the proper mixing of the ingredients the rotary motion mixers are mostly used for the small scale processing of the dough like materials and the batters paste like materials to achieve the proper mixing of the ingredients. Second type that is the planetary motion mixers. These are the mixers are more popular for the small to medium scale industry for the mixing of dough and the batters in which the planetary action of the mixing element to achieve the proper mixing of the ingredients. The main two type that is the stationary pan mixer and the second one is the rotating pan mixer. In the stationary pan mixer, the pan is stationary position and the rotating pan in which the pan is rotated their own axis. The planetary action of the mixing element is achieved by both types in which stationary pan mixing element which is the rotate in their own axis along with the orbitary action. You can see the mixing element which is the mix of the all ingredient by the orbitary action. And in this rotating pan mixer, the pan is rotated and the mixing element which is in fixed position, they are rotated on their axis 
and the orbitary action is carried out. The main principle that is the planetary motion along with the small clearance between the blade and the vessel to achieve the maximum shearing, holding and stretching forces. The main mixing elements which are attached in the mixing vessel involving three first that is the gate type then second hook type and the whisk type these are the mixing elements the construction of planetary pan mixer you can see the simple example in which the main part of the planetary pan mixer that is the mixing vessel and this is the mixing element electrical motor in which electrical motor the at the top of there should be the provision of the gear drive system then power transmission by the chain drive system and this is the planetary gear drive system in which planetary gear, gear drive system there are the number of the designs are available you can see simple example in which the planetary action is achieved this is the main shaft and this is the sun gear and this is the planetary gear in this planetary gear attached with the mixing element which is act as a planetary action during the mixing process these are the main parts of the planetary mixer in which the planetary mixer there should be the provision for the loading and unloading of the mixing vessel and there should be the facility of the replacement or the changing facility of the mixing element as per our requirement we can use the planetary pan mixer for the multiple purpose for the application of preparation of the cream doughs batters etc the main feature of the spiral mixer that is the mixing time is very low for the preparation of the dough required maximum 10 to 15 minutes in which the first initially low speed mixing and after that the high speed mixing to achieve the development of the gluten structure then in this spiral mixer during the mixing of unit operations there should be the less heat is generated uh, also in the mixing unit operations the addition of the water mostly added water with the chilled water in order to uh, re reduce the heat generation during the mixing and to maintain the temperature of the dough uh, in you order can to see in this image the main parts of the mixing element of the spiral mixers and uh, this is the control fittings with the low speed high speeds and the other control fittings which are the provided in the working of the spiral mixer in which the mixing vessel first initially mixing vessel which is the load into the spiral mixer then addition of the ingredients whatever the ingredients they are added and then start the mixing by using the spiral element in which initially low speed is maintained for 5 to 7 minutes and after that again high speed for uh, 5 minutes in which to achieve the proper mix up of the ingredients the amount of water and other ingredients must be added as per the requirement and to achieve the proper mix up of the dough like material in the spiral mixer then second category that is the dough mixers in this dough mixer the as per the mixing elements there are the number of uh, designs of the mixing element in which the sigma blade, Z blade, the fish nail blades. These are the some of the examples of the mixing element which are attached to the dough mixers. The select proper type of the mixing blade depending on the initial raw material its physical properties. The only mixing element as per the mixing element there are the number of the names are uh, and the applications of the dough mixer. Basically, dough mixers are used for the high viscosity uh, like chewing gum like material, dough like materials to achieve the proper mixing in which the high power is used along with the mixing element which is the cover maximum area in the mixing element. You can see in the Z blade or the sigma type mixing element, this is the mixing element, the first and the second mixing element. The two mixing elements which are the rotated in opposite direction in, inside of that mixing vessel. The mixing vessel basically in U-shape, uh, cylindrical U-shape tank that is the trough in which the two mixing elements are rotated in opposite direction. 
you can see this the electrical motor then the shaft then power transmission by the belt or by chain system and then was there should be the provision for the gear drive system the speed of the rotation is very low that is the 14 to 60 rpm but high power must required to achieve the proper mixing of the ingredients the main part of the sigma mixer in which the support then electrical motor gear drive system then these are the two mixing elements in which power transmission system is provided these are the rotated into opposite direction this is the mixing vessel externally provided with the jacket to circulate the chill water to maintain the temperature during the mixing then loading unloading facility of the mixing vessel uh, there should be the provision of some of the designs in which the operated under the vacuum or maybe some of the system there should be the provision of the spray system some of the ingredients are sprayed during the mixing the next third category that is the other mixers in the other mixers number of the designs are available the first that is the screw conveyor mixer in which the screw conveyor mixer the rotating screw which is act as a conveyor system in which the ingredients the, like the paste like materials this paste like materials which are the convey into the screw conveyor system in which the two or more ingredients which are the feed continuously into the screw conveyors and there should be the provision at the outlet with the product with the screw that means in which the high shearing force is created by the rotating screw and the materials which are passed into the screen during the flow of the uh, material into the screen the size reduction and the mixing interpretations which are the achieved in the screw extruder systems the screw extruder uh, that means the extruded food products during the prepared by using the screw conveyor system in which the number of unit operations is uh, achieved then the second example that is the roller mills roller mills in which the material is flowing from the rollers that is the cylindrical rollers in which the two cylindrical rollers which are the rotated in opposite direction when the material is flowing from the between the rollers the compression force and the shearing force which is the main uh, principle of the size reduction and the mixing both unit operations are carried out you can see the simple examples of the uh, three rollers mixer come size reduction equipments the simple example then the roller mills most used for the preparation of the paste like material in which the smoothing is carried out like the chocolate mass coca mass etc in which the number of the designs are available this is the refining process and this is the quenching process used for the chocolate processing industry in the refining process the number of the cylinders in which you can see the first second third fourth fifth these are the cylinders these are the arranged in this similar in this manner in which the whatever the feed of the chocolate mass the chocolate mass is flow between the rollers during the flowing system the size reduction and the proper mixing is carried out and finally we get the smooth chocolate mass in the quenching process in which the pan which is the rotated in inside of that pan provided with the rollers these are the two rollers which are also rotated and the pan also rotated in which the whatever the paste like material this paste like materials in which the size reduction and the mixing these are the unit operation is carried out the next third example that is the colloidal mill colloidal mill are used for the homogenization of the paste like material in which the rotating disc in which the main two part that is the this is the stationary disc and this is the rotor that is the rotating disc that the rotating disc and the stationary disc the gap between the disc is very small the material which is loaded from the hopper into the center and the size reduction is achieved between the stationary and the rotating disc the rotating discs are and the stationary discs are the specially designed in which the maybe uh, smooth surface or maybe the corrugated surface in which the small clearance and the rotation of the high speed which is the responsible for the shearing and the attrition force which is size reduction and mixing these are the both unit operations is carried out in during the collider mill operations most used for the paste like materials to achieve the proper mixing and the size reduction of the ingredients these are the references used for the preparation of this powerpoint presentation Thank you very much.